back to my channel. It's your girl Stacy. Y'all are feeling better. Woo, bless God, bless God, bless God. When I tell y'all, it's been it's been kind of rough, y'all. And I was it was like an up and down type of thing. But anyway, anyway, before I get into all of that, please don't forget to like this video. Leave your comments down below. And y'all, okay. For those that follow, watch me, whatever, y'all know that I was kind of struggling the last couple of days that I was doing Vlogmas. Uh, I think the last one I put up was uh, Vlogmas Day 6. I think it was 6 or 7. But I was having problems with my sinuses. And the truth of the matter is, I'm still having issues. Um, it's And it's like... I went, I was feeling better fighting it, and then it's just like I just went down. Overnight, I went down. Um, and I was going through y'all for a minute. Uh, I had, and I knew I was had been fighting a sinus infection, honestly, since the early part of November in Covington. I felt myself getting it. But, you know, I'm doing everything I know to do. Um, I did the uh, hydrogen peroxide. I was taking this, my uh, medicines. Uh, drinking my teas and I was doing everything that I know that I was supposed to do and I was fighting it but I don't know um, and you know being tired and not getting proper rest all that stuff plays a part when you are not feeling good you have got to get rest and drink plenty of fluids and um, the truth is let's just be honest you, remember, I'm, you know I'm in the 50 club the hardest part about catching colds and sinus infections is to to help with the healing. You know, you gotta can't be up under fans and uh, air condition going X Y Z. But when you fifty plus and you're a big girl and you're flashing and you're going through all of that stuff, it's hard. So that's why I think has prolonged it also because. We sleep with the air on, and we sleep up under a fan. Yeah, I'm one of them people. We're both, me and Carrie both, we're, we're those people. We sleep with the air as well as fans going. So, anyway, that's what's been going on. Really trying to fight that or whatever. I'm not 100, but I'm so much better. And, of course, you know, it, over in the evening, it gets worse. In the daytime, it's, you know, it's how you jacked up through, uh, throughout the night in the mornings but then in the middle of the day you know you're up you're moving you're doing stuff you want your body temperature temperature is up so that helps you open up but anyway so that's what's going on uh and so i know technically this is day 14 for vlogmas but for me this is like day eight seven or eight so i will make it up i'll take it all the way through to the end of december because you know we was you know technically stop at the at christmas um uh, but i'm taking it all the way to the end of december um so i'll make it up you know getting back on or whatever so anyway y'all that's what's been going on you know need to sh it's like it, at the holidays everything just get kind of up in the air and you know and i'm telling y'all mentally i'm having to reprogram and get back on track um and I, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm. This is a, a transparent moment, a moment of truth. I found myself almost having a pity party, and I'm like, a pity party ain't gonna help. It ain't gonna get you nowhere. So you know what? You, you need to have your little moment. You know, have your moment, but don't stay there. Um, get things together for the Christmas holiday. You know, for Christmas, um, we're gonna be in. Covington, but I'm going, you know, I'm going to go, actually, I think I'll be going this weekend, and she'll be coming, uh, because she still got to work, Carrie still got to work, so she'll be coming uh, next week, at the end of the week or whatever, so I'm going to go ahead and go, because um, when when we leave, you know, I got to come back, because, you know, for New Year's and stuff, I think for the New Year, we might bring it in in Florida, I'm not sure yet, but that's what's going on, just trying to do a little shopping here and there um getting people gifts together 
still trying to figure out what you're going to get everybody. And then it's like everything, you know, stuff just keep happening. When I tell you, I'm like, we must be this close to a blessing or a breakthrough. Because when I tell you stuff just keep coming up, keep coming up, keep coming up, it is. Um, and, I, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get back on track with my eating. And I, I've been doing very well. I really have. And I'm really happy to say, you know, because I keep saying I want to get back to vegan. But it's like I can't seem to get there. But I've been really praying about it, y'all. And I'm, I'm telling you. And it's funny because these last few days that I've tried to eat meat, it has not agreed with me, period, point blank. To the point that every time I finish or have it just almost like trying to have a few bites or whatever, in the middle of eating, I'm, I get real nauseous and I got to go. And it to the point where I'm running like this, y'all, covering my mouth up because um, it's get it's that bad. So I said, you know what, Lord, I thank you. You, I told you whatever it takes, Lord, to just, I want that taste gone because I do, it's like I feel like I'm backpedaling. Like, you know, and I'm, I ain't even getting tired of that because that ain't even what I want to do today. But, yeah, I'm just like, I got to get with it. I got to get with it. And I think I was going, I ain't you no know, think I know I was going through some stuff because, like I said, you know, when you trying to do things and it's like things ain't moving like you thought they would or happening the way you thought they would. And, you know, then I felt start feeling like I was letting y'all down letting people that have been in my corner down um then i'm feeling burned out not necessarily burned all the way out but like i felt like i was being repetitious in my content um it was just a ton of things and i'm like there's so much stuff i want to do but it's hard to do it at this particular moment at this stage um so just trying to keep everybody interested keep everybody coming back keep everybody engaged all of that stuff between that and i fell off with my classes getting back on track with my classes and personal it's just been a lot y'all it has and i'm not making excuses i'm just i'm just letting y'all know what's going on so uh because you know that's me i'm, I'm always gonna be you know what you see is what you get and i'm like i don't and it, it wasn't just things start happening to me. Things start happening with other people, which affected, you know, everything is like a domino effect. And, you know, and I have this thing that because when I feel like this is what helped me with Carrie, to be honest, in the beginning, when I had to go back and talk to her in the beginning you know when we before we got back together is because i have this i have this thing with abandonment and i've had this i've done a video on this before i have this thing about abandonment and i didn't think i felt like i was being just left out there to sink or swim but and then i felt like you know when you you know one thing about me, I don't let people in, and when I do, and I get close to people, or I feel like I'm close to them, and then something changes that, and you start pulling apart, it affects me. It affects me. So, this is not how this video is supposed to go. I'm one of those people that I'm very guarded. I always have been because to know my life story to know things that have happened i am very guarded and when i do let people in and something happens and they are no longer there or things change and it, it does affect me and because i don't verbalize a lot of things when it comes to that because i try to just deal with things it does it's hard so with that being said, you know, I'm I'm better now because I'm like, you know, they said at the end of the day, if you you if you want it, you gotta go get it. If one way ain't working, you gotta figure out other ways of doing it. And that's what I'm trying to do. Um re strategizing and I'm just gonna keep trying. At some point something got to catch, right? <laughs> so with that, you know, 
back on my vlogmas back ready to do things got things going on and i'm and it's gonna happen you know so i'm just saying and all of that i just want to say y'all don't give up on me don't give up on yourself don't give up on people just pray for people you know and i promise you know it ain't even about promising y'all at this point it's about promising myself I got to do this for myself and that's what i'm trying to do back from the weight i'm not i'm really not liking the weight gain that i i have i have and you know trying to get back on track with that and it's just i'm having to figure this thing out in a different perspective in a different headspace so that's what's going on y'all but other than that you girl is still again uh oh i think i heard it. anyway y'all i love y'all i love y'all i thank y'all please don't forget to go and my websites haven't been updated, but um, I am gonna I, I am I want to do a sale. I am gonna do a sale with the wine glasses and the remainder of the tanks and teas that I have on my website, StacyBrownSpeaks.com. Um, so I gotta update that, but I will do more about that in a little bit because I wanna. Go ahead, whether it's for Christmas or the new year, I want to get that stuff done. So don't forget to check out my website, stacybrownspeaks.com, as well as don't forget my, to check out my online store, motivationmall.com. Please don't forget to like this video, leave your comments down below, and share this video if you would like. I love you, my BSSTs, and I thank y'all for rocking with me. Thank you to each and every one of you that prayed for me, that left comments, that sent me inboxes, that checked on me, emails, thank you for caring, because you don't have to. So I greatly appreciate all the love and all the concern. I love you guys, and i see you all when? Tomorrow. Bye.